Well, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam is speeding up voting rights restoration for released felons. All new at 5.30, Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco breaks down what is changing. Well, Governor Ralph Northam says this change, while slight, is a step towards a fair criminal justice system. It comes as a General Assembly is pursuing more comprehensive reform. Today, Governor Ralph Northam is restoring the rights of more than 69,000 people. Congratulations. A surprise for returning citizen Robert Thompson, who was at the announcement today. By him signing that and giving it to me, they're actually looking at us like we, we we're part of society. And that's all that we really want. We don't want to be punished for the rest of our lives. Right now, Governor Northam says Virginia is one of the only states to permanently strip a person's civil rights for committing a felony. Offenders can petition the governor to get those rights back, but only after they finish probation. Moving forward, Northam says Virginians can have their rights restored as soon as they're released. It gives me a sense of pride. E. Gorman says he's been on probation for nearly five years. Thanks to this change, he's planning to vote for the first time. Not having my rights, I kind of felt like, eh, you know, I'm a felon, so it really doesn't matter to me. You know, now I feel like my opinion matters more. The shift mirrors an effort already underway in the General Assembly. The recently passed constitutional amendment would restore a person's rights upon release from prison automatically. It's time to take the governor's discretion out of the process. Lawmakers shied away from allowing inmates to vote while behind bars despite pressure from advocates. We asked Northam about that. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'm not sure that that would, would uh, move forward in Virginia. Now, to become law, that constitutional amendment still has to pass in the General Assembly again next year and then win a majority in a statewide voter referendum. Reporting on Richmond tonight, I'm Jackie DeFusco.